Alright guys, um, so as you know, recently on Global, this was like a week and a half ago on JP, um, we got the easy A's for the father-son Gallic gun Vegeta, and the father-son Gallic gun Trunks, this Vegeta, this video is specifically on Vegeta, um, so my Vegeta is just plus 2000, I actually didn't have either of these units until we got the pride metal thing that allowed us to get one of each, um, so now I've got him. Uh, we're going to be showing him off on the Realm of Gods team, and then after this, I'm hoping we can find a future Gohan friend to show him off on the future team, but I'm not sure if we can, because ever since I fully easy ate him, just in my free time, I've been trying to find a future Gohan friend to be like, what can he be like on a 170 lead? And I haven't been able to find that yet. Um, if worse comes to worse, I'll just hop in and out of boss rush until I find one, or I'll just hit one of my friends up and see if they can send him his lead. <clears throat> but that's another well that's one of the reasons why this video took so long because I was like I'm gonna wait till I find a future Gohan friend and then I never found a future Gohan friend so we're just here now is basically how it is um here we're gonna we'll do this I guess uh cause I, the rotation we want to get his max on this team at least is Super Saiyan God Vegeta and Topo we want Tobo to go first to give him that like 30% attack raise, I think it is. Um, and then he'll have Super Saiyan, uh, Warrior Gods, and Prodigies with the Super Saiyan God Vegeta. So he'll be looking pretty nice. Also, shout out to the Super Saiyan God Goku at 1.2 without Super Saiyan active. That's pretty nutty. Alright, 1.8. Joe, you don't even need to crit here. Because this is a showcase, it's not your showcase. Okay, great. I, for some reason, I really felt like he was about to additional. Like, I felt it deep within my person that he was going to additional there. But he didn't, so we're looking better than huge. I hate myself for saying huge. I almost told a personal story, but I'm not sure if the person in the personal story would like me telling that story. <laughs> so we're not going to do that. Alright, uh... One of the great things about this Vegeta is that he gives himself key. Um, so, he will be, like, a good amount higher when we get the Vegeta here, but here he's going to look pretty nice, too. Because uh, he's going to have Tobo Super Rank first, he's going to have Super Saiyan, and Warrior Gods, I think. But he needs to get Prodigies active with Super Saiyan God Vegeta. If this guy or the Trunks had Fierce Battle, they would be, like, total monsters. What's he at? He's at 1.2. Remember, he is 55% in the dupe system. So that's that's real good. And then this guy Goku at 1.2 without Fierce Battle. Both these two looking nice. Except the Vegeta is just free to play. And I will not hear otherwise. Because they literally gave you like enough things to get the Vegeta and the Trunks. So they're, I got them free to play. I... I did pull them, I have pulled them both before, but I used the Trunks on SA, and I used the Vegeta for SA too, so, you know, now I'm just here with stupid 55% one, which I'm kind of upset about. Alright, here is the rotation of dreams. You can have that. Look at him. I like, he didn't, like, need it there, but him giving himself key, you can see how it could come in handy there. Um... So this is going to be as high as he can get on the realm of God's team. I'm pretty sure. Well, it's not going to be as high as he can get. I think he might be able to get a little bit higher. Maybe if we had West Kai on the rotation instead of Topo. Although I'm not sure. He's at 1.31 million. Like, no, like, items. No nothing. This is just him. What's Vegeta going to be at? Vegeta's at 1.2. He's higher than Super Saiyan God Vegeta. And Super Saiyan God Vegeta actually has a dupe. But he also hasn't had the chance to like raise his attack or whatever. So I'd say they're almost like on comparable levels. Um I do want to get like one rotation with him, like without support, just with like Super Saiyan active or something. So we're gonna get that. And then we're gonna cut and see if I can find a future Gohan lead. I hope I can. Not gonna guarantee that I can. <laughs> okay. No crit, but we are gonna kill him here. I need to remember that I'm not trying to, like, end this event super fast. 
but UI Goku is gonna finish it here, and if not, Vegito Blue definitely is. Yeah. I didn't even remember how much health he had left. Alright, here's God Vegeta. So, we'll just do it like this right now. He doesn't even have Super Saiyan active. I'm pretty sure he only has Prepare for Battle active here, actually. Um, so, this is going to be him not looking very good, but he's still going to have the 35% support. So, it's probably 964k. That's, that's good, because, like, remember, he used to just give himself attack and defense 70%. And now he gives himself attack and defense 90%, 2 key. If there's a Vegeta's family ally on the team, he gives an extra 2 key and 30%. Um, now, the 2 key and 30% is actually for Vegeta's family allies, I think. Or is it just for allies? I think it's for Vegeta's family allies. Don't quote me on that, though. Um, okay, so next turn we have this Vegeta is where we're going to make the cut because then we're going to have. Uh, Super Saiyan Blue Vegito here, so he can just get Super Saiyan active with no, like, extra stuff going on. No extra shenanigans, if you will. Okay, I think the Super Saiyan Gods might finish it here, because right now on the Realm of Gods team, this is like my favorite rotation. The double, like, new God Vegeta, God Goku. He's up to 1.1, which is good, because... Last time he was at 1.2, but remember he had like Prodigies active and he had Topo on the rotation. So that's actually open. Goku's like right around the same same place. When is Global gonna get the Beerus ECA? With the Super Saiyan God Goku, we can get really far on the Beerus ECA. Like, because he's gonna reduce damage by 77%, which just to comp like no matter what in the Beerus ECA, right? And Tech Golden Frieza reduces damage by 70%. So he reduces damage by 7% more, and there's no restriction on that EZA. So he's going to be a monster. Alright, so after this turn, we're going to make a cut here and hopefully be on the future team. If not, I don't know. I thought about maybe trying him on the Pure Saiyans team, and then I remembered, oh yeah, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta is the lead of the Pure Saiyans team, so I can't use him here. I looked away. I didn't. How much is he going to take? I looked away, I didn't see what he was at, it was probably at like 850k. You know, that's actually not like crazy damage, to be honest. Alright, Vegito, fin it? No, nowhere near finishing. If he would've got an additional super, there's a way that we could finish it here though. Alright, well, I'll see you guys in a second when hopefully we're on the future team, and if not, we're just gonna be looking at a different situation on this team, because this isn't long enough to be a video right now. <laughs> See you in a second. Alright guys, um, <clears throat> boy that was a voice crack. Um, we found a future Gohan friend, took a long time, and because I didn't even want the slightest chance of losing it, we just hopped in to boss rush. So right now, this is him on the future team, no support units, no funny business, this is just him on the future team with Super Saiyan active, and probably Warrior Gods, I am not, yeah and Warrior Gods. I didn't look at his attack stat again, I'm not going to lie. Uh, but we're going to get this exact same rotation one more time before we get the one that we want. So it doesn't really matter that I didn't, like, see it there. Okay. There goes Bardock. So obviously the rotation we want is him with Trunks, because Trunks is going to be a little bit of a support type buff. And then, if we have Trunks in the first slot, Trunks will also actually give him a 30%. Yeah, 30% attack up. So, that's why we're going to float off Trunks here. Um, I'm actually surprised there aren't more future Gohans, like, set as leagues on Global. Because, like, they just got their easy A's. And this is the only team that they can be ran on, like, together. The Father-Son Gallic Gun units. And it's like, where are you guys using them? Because, like, as soon as they came out, this was the team that I was like, yeah, they're both on this team, let's use them. Because on Global, there isn't a Vegeta's Lineage category lead. And I guess people aren't just using the new units. I don't know. Whenever I get a new unit, it's like my new toy, and I don't put it down until I get sick of it. And then, like, maybe like a few weeks or months later, I'll get back into it. Alright, so he's breaking a million. Um, I feel like he could break... I don't know, I feel like he might be able to hit harder on the normal God's team. Even though this team has a extra... What is it, like... 40% lead um, from both leaders because this one has a one set. Okay, Vegeta Blue. 
um, because this one has a 170 attack lead, the other one has a 150 attack lead. Alright, here we're going to test future Gohan's defense. Um, I actually didn't check the friend's future Gohan, I'm not sure if he has a dupe, no dupe, no warbs at all. Um, so this is going to be the test, I guess. Okay, he's, he's tanking. A lot of people who don't have future Gohan think future Gohan is a super good defensive unit. He's not. Um, like, right now he's getting 0% defense from his passive and he's reducing damage by 20%. Now, if you've been in a battle for 10 turns and you're at like 0.1% HP, then he gets 100% defense and he reduces damage by 50%. Then he's okay. But most of the time, that's not what you're looking like. Okay. Okay. So this is going to be Vegeta's best look, I think. Maybe not like... Like on this team, I mean. Maybe he will have looked better on the ROG team, but we'll find out. Alright, Trunks out here breaking a million. Let's go... Um, what's Vegeta going to hit? If Trunks got an additional, would have been very upset. 1.3. I feel like that's around what we saw on the Rumble Gods team. It might be a little bit higher. I can't really remember um but anyways now we're just gonna break down this vegeta and then i think that's gonna be it for this showcase so this is bonds beyond time super saiyan blue vegeta I'm not saying super saiyan god super saiyan um he gives all types key plus two hp attack and defense 90 percent which is actually a very good leader skill um you can use that as a sub lead for dokkan battlefield if you don't have a good sub lead um and even if not, like, that's, that's, like, up there with, like, the, uh, who's the what? The LR Goku, the LR Spear Bomb Goku, and the LR Super Battle Road Goku. Um, because supreme damage to enemy and raises allies attack by 30% for one turn. That's pretty good. And then, at the start of turn, so, always, he always gets two key, attack and defense 90%. Already, that's pretty good. Like, most Dokkan Fest nowadays are getting attack and defense 80%. Which is weird to me. Because, uh, I'm not going to get into this right now. Um, and then, all allies get 30% attack and defense and 2 key if there are 2 or more Vegeta's category allies on the team. So, I answered my own question from earlier. He does give that 2 key and 30% attack and defense to all allies. As long as there are 2 or more Vegeta category allies on the team. So... Like, if there's another Vegeta's category ally on the team, he basically gets 120% attack and defense. And then, he also... I'm not gonna lie, I forgot what I was saying. He gets 120% attack and defense and 4 key, I think. Right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and he also gives that to everyone else, is what I was gonna say. Um, and he has Super Saiyan, Saiyan Warrior Race, Warrior Gods, Prodigies, Loyal Lineage, Prepare for Battle, and Shattering the Limit. Um, now this Vegeta has a lot of categories, but on global right now, only three of them have actual category leads, and only two of them can be used. Well, he can be used on. Because he has Realm of Gods, he can be used on that, it's an actual category lead. Pure Saiyans, it's an actual category lead, but you can't use him on it, because Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta is the lead. Future Saga, actual category, you can use him on it. Time Travelers, see like Elder Trunks and Meyer out. I'm not really sure if that counts as a real category team, because it gets 130 to all stats, and it's like, eh. And Vegeta's family doesn't even have like a leader at all in global. Um, but anyways, if you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like, a comment, subscribe to the channel. My name has been Blachlorup, and I'll see you guys next time.